Well, afternoon and welcome once again to Gaming Under the Influence. I'm Mike. Here with my buddy Alex at Green Dragon CVR in Woodbridge, Ontario. Fucking sitting six feet apart from each other to talk to you once again about fucking video games. How are you, man? Fucking doing okay, man. I'm Cheers. doing pretty good. How have you been? It's nice to have incentive with our camera going to right. set up Fort Liquor once again. Nice yeah, Fort Liquor. fucking cornucopia of Ontario craft beers for you to fucking see the fine labels and fucking presentation of. Definitely one of the finer aspects of it, I have to say. Absolutely. You? Some new Boy. additions here. This they one, definitely uh, don't slouch. Oh, yeah, that's just from yesterday. Right. Pete from fucking Nickelbrook bought that by for us. It's fucking can on the 25th. It's a new IPA with some hops I've never tried before, personally. They're nice. really good. Tasty fucking thing. I'm drinking right now this uh, cucumber sour from Nickelbrook as well. It's one of my favorites. It's only 4% alcohol, so you can drink a bunch of them, and it's a little bit salty and fucking super lactic, you know? It's oh, very yeah, acidic, yeah. yeah. yeah yesterday, a bunch acidic. of people... I think people thought it was dissolving their cups, but really, it just tastes that way normally. Oh, really? It's just... <laughs> acid pouring down my throat yeah man so uh, how are those you are actually very good i think so too yeah um i'm Feel good, free to man. help yourself to any of these fuckers i think we're gonna try and put a dent in them by the end of this uh recording but uh, oh, yeah. i feel like there's a lot to cover for the first time in a little while i think I've so too you know fucking playing a lot of different games like we just got monster hunter came out yesterday of course and uh i've still been playing bravely default and how i even jumped into the weirdest fucking game i've probably seen in yeah. quite some time Balan Wonderworld, which naturally, for no reason at all, appealed to us based on the fact that it's published by Square Enix and uh, and it's just a, a weird fucking thing. Like almost like I was saying with uh, that game Katamari Damacy, like just something totally off the wall, right? Just out there and weird. So I didn't even know what kind of game it was. I had no idea. I looked it up when I got home after I already bought it, but. Anyway. Yeah, fuck, I had no idea either. Honestly, I thought it was a JRPG. Yeah. Just based on the producer and the fucking... Yeah, based the on even, they even just it in the... the middle. Wasn't it like at Square Enix's E3 last summer or some it was, shit? It was. It, we uh, saw that. And yeah, I think we kind of came away assuming that it was, but it's a 3D platformer. Yeah. Strangely enough. That makes me more interested than not, honestly. Yeah, it's 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 different, right? It's not what we expected, what typically Square Enix would pump out in that fashion, right? The yeah. platformer is also, you know... A lot more rare these days yeah so that's interesting but i think uh i think the main thing here is uh the star of the show is monster hunter rise which has pretty much exceeded any expectations we had i think may so not have been well. many but for sure right so, so far so good Safe absolutely to say especially like as somebody who's you know i can't really say that i'm the biggest fan of the series but definitely not. i spent a lot of time with world at least relatively not compared to people who really really dig it even my wife she played a shit ton more than me and her brother and my brother but i played a good 80 90 hours of it i finished oh, wow. the main part of the game i crafted like an end game set i was pretty happy with my fucking progress in that game and i liked it a lot and my biggest complaint with it was it's you know it's fucking demands a lot for me man there's yeah, a lot of uh, yeah you know is there like it's very time consuming like the way even that the loop is is you're never going to spend less than 15 minutes even on the easiest fucking monster hunt and okay that game especially felt more than this one that when you got past the fucking main storyline could never craft a set with you know not that i've gotten past the main storyline here i hope it's not the same in rise i'm basing my uh my the totality in my opinion here on other people's information too but like to yeah. my experience it definitely seems the same like by the time i invested 10 15 hours in world i definitely haven't even made it past the first zone and here i'm in the fourth or something like that right? nice you can tell like this game is built like a little more fucking constrained than world was like the environments are fucking just as awe-inspiring when it comes to how they look and like how they're set up but they don't mm -hmm. really get in your way as much there's not as much bullshit. they give you more tools for traversal you know? Yeah, it seems like it's more of a... Yeah, some of that fucking... Some of that some of that meatiness, that world... Like, like I, I don't want to call it bloat because I, I did... You know, it had its place. Like, I do like Monster Hunter World. I think yeah. it's a brilliant game. Even the way that it is, like, I, I don't really want to say they should take anything away except for maybe some of the fucking shitty... Like, when they get into drop rates on fucking items you need to craft gear. Like, I don't like that kind of shit. Maybe they could adjust that a bit for sure, but... Yeah, okay. In I terms of how, enough, like... enough a world to really say much, so... I'll yeah, like, I year. was talking with my buddy Louie here yesterday about it. You know what? Mm -hmm. yeah, he yeah. was saying, like, yeah, world was built, you know, to satisfy the AAA Western consumer. And yeah, fucking, yeah, that's what... It definitely uh, had that in mind, and it did that for sure, but, like, I don't think this game sacrifices that aspect. It just sacrifices the fucking 
you know, the fucking well, fascination some of the, with some like, of the presentation, right? The top maybe notch a bit, graphics, yeah, it's on, but it, sure, but yeah, like, but this I mean, has its own beauty, right? Yeah, I, think I like it, these art styles. It pairs back like some of the excessive, you know, mechanical elements that World fucking had, and kind mm-hmm, of you mm-hmm. had to contend with constantly, and made it a bit of a drag, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, there was stuff in World like this, uh, you know, in the town they had this fucking place where you could kind of. Um, implant items and they would manufacture them for you and repeat them so you uh-huh. wanted to make traps you had a constant source of the items necessary right okay that was I don't in world know. yeah in world i don't know if this has that you this know. one i haven't noticed anything like yeah, that i know me neither the, um yeah. you can just buy that stuff which yeah. i haven't really some anyway. of it yeah Holy for shit, sure but climb no. walls with the dog yeah that's it's incredible right, yeah. the mobility is crazy in this game too it's so much faster i remember before the monster would run away in world and you and know. you'd have to chug along yeah. chasing it on foot, right? Yeah. But Could that you ride gets, stuff uh, in World at all or not until the expansion? I think it was in the expansion, which okay. I never played, to be honest with you. So, yeah, it's, uh, we, fucking, we, we wanted to. I remember talking yeah. about it before it came out, and then it just came and went. We never touched it. Yeah, there was too much going on. But to on. be fair, like, I didn't play much of World anyway. I only played maybe like 10 hours. I already played almost as much of Rise as I did in World, and I'm really enjoying Rise so far. Mm hmm movement is crazy me too Just watching you fucking zip up with the the wire bug thing it's cool running off sure. the walls uh, i fucked up there see <laughs> yeah you screwed up <laughs> yeah that's terrible <laughs> that's okay i fucked up a bunch of times at first it's a little bit uh yeah. it's a little bit overwhelming and and a little bit confusing at first for someone just jumping into this game unless you're like probably like some kind of monster hunter veteran who's fucking I think played all too. of them. It, it it seemed to me like it's I was not, kind of overwhelmed and like oh. it's not the most intuitive game in any sense. But you I know? picked it up after a couple. Like it did, didn't yeah, feel too bad. You know, you eventually get the hang of it. Like I think approaching this game, like you know, to fucking preface everything. Like again, I never played many of the other ones, but I did mm-hmm. enjoy World a lot. And coming into this, my first impression was that it seems fucking pared back in terms of a lot of the fucking excessive systems that fucking World had. Just even in terms of how you traverse the environment. Like yeah, definitely. <laughs> Here, not systemically, but they just afford you new tools to do so without much ado, right? Mm-hmm. Makes the game fucking, the pace of the game is, you know, I'll get into much that. Quicker. But yeah, really, like, that seems what this is. My, my initial apprehension about this game was that, what am I going to play? Like, a downgraded world? You know? Yeah, that like was exactly what you said to me when we first started. Yeah. Right? yeah, like, what the fuck, I'll just go play world. But really, it's not that at all. It's an, an iterative progression. A top they, of world, they it's probably, even better, right? Like the next one on PS5 is gonna have to implement these mechanics for sure. There's yeah, no, yeah. There's no way they're gonna. And fuck then that would be like, let's say they do Monster Hunter World 2 with all the stuff they had in this game. That would be fucking mm-hmm. sick. You have to think that yeah. consciously they probably were sitting there saying the same thing that you yeah, said, right? Sure. Like, how can we release a game that's pared <laughs> yeah, down yeah, version no. of World? Like we need to add, sure. put something. We need to do some yeah. kind of change, and then yeah. whether or not they actually looked at you know something like Sekiro after uh like bloodborne or, or dark souls because i know you brought that that's up what before. it's like for me yeah that's for sure. what it seems like it yeah. definitely seems like that yeah whether or not they actually looked at like that kind of comparison this is sort of falls into the same kind of thing it's <laughs> it's it's more streamlined it's it's easier to get to like the good parts right mm-hmm. and and just sort of strip the some oh, of the shit so grind sure. and blow it away, right? Which we're a big fan of. If anyone ever listens to us, you'll know that. <laughs> For sure. And they even added things like uh, fucking the, the, the dog companion as well as the cat, who's your mouth, yes. but he also helps you fight. I named my dog Stalin yeah, and my cat that. Lennon. It's hilarious, too. You did, are you serious? <laughs> I did, yeah. You're fucked. I have Navi, the fucking... Dogs and cats don't like each other. The dog and the cat is Midna. Triple yeah. Zelda. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, characters. Good times. I'm not creative and I can't think of anything else. <laughs> this guy Stalin in the light. I was reading fucking, a fucking book about so Stalinism <laughs> that fucking night. I was like, oh, that's you're funny. Fucked up. <laughs> and they have a suit you can dress the cat in that makes him look literally like like Lenin. <laughs> it's hilarious. You're fucked. That's uh, fucking amazing. Good times, yeah. Oh, buddy. Monster Hunter, though, <laughs> fuck, man. I honestly like this isn't a strike. I don't really have much of a point to make today. I just fucking really yeah. like Monster Hunter. I like being in that world, bro. It has such a fucking acute inner logic. Mm-hmm. And its fucking brilliance is that it doesn't have a story, per se. Like, I guess it does. I don't know. It has a rough outline of a story. Like, mm-hmm. some shit happens. You go to fix it. Nameless guy. Yeah, I remember at the, right? at the beginning, they were saying, like, all oh, the monsters are yeah, attacking. Whatever. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. something, you know. But the point is, like, the world building of the ecosystem you participate in it's fucking amazing it's they sit there and they think yeah. about how all the monsters relate to each other in a certain place world was excellent for this there's oh all kinds God, of I different yeah. species and bugs yeah. and stuff yeah. and and uh, they've worked into this game i don't know how it's it like works. going to the fucking zoo With, man you know yeah but you have to kill all the 
you, all the animals. You can collect the bugs as buffs, right? As you're yeah. going through the yeah, level. Yeah, that's cool too. So I don't know yeah. if that was a thing in any uh, other. In monster. the other ones, you could catch them with a net and make them like pets in your house, which was kind of cool too. Oh, okay. I actually kind of prefer just, that. They they're just now like, they're usable items, buffs. which is cool too. Again, like see how it tends towards mm. it pairs down, right? It doesn't have yeah. these, you know. World had like everything in the kitchen sink in it, right? Like. Mm -hmm. I do love World. Fuck, I want to go Which, back. Which I mean, so it bad. kind of makes sense if that's like the flagship title, but then, it, like you said, you don't want to play a stripped-down version, which I don't blame you for. And then this comes out, and it has yeah. a totally, you know, different. Yeah, uh, they they reworked it to not make it feel like it's it, exactly. They actually yeah. added stuff, right? And don't and get me wrong. It's not like crazy. It's not a. Tw it's not pared down by any means. I'm Ooh. sure it's still a fucking easily an 80-hour game, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But. Firstly, like, even in terms of fucking the length of time it takes to fight a monster, you feel like, fuck, if you have a slight knowledge of the systems, like, it's easily less than 10, 15 minutes yeah. to kill every monster in the game. And getting through the quests that comprise the main story is very quick, too, if you want to go that way. Like Most of the time I spent, yeah, was when you see a set you want, and I go back over and kill the monster a couple of times to be able to make to all the, of the yeah. items in the set, right? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, which probably helps make the game grinding. a bit easier, too, honestly. You know, because then you're fucking up to par with all of the systems, right? Like, right, but, right. You know, it, I found these weapons, too, that, like, speed it up for me so much. The bow is such a faster fucking... Yeah, the DPS sick. is crazy. You can be constantly doing DPS with it. That's why. You don't have to yeah, stop was, and, like, line up shots as much as you do with the weapons. I was using the light bow gun, and that was pretty cool, but then it kind of got boring. But at least the, yeah. the bow looks fucking sick. I'm going to give sick, that a yeah, try. It has a melee, melee element, too, too right? Yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. I don't know if the bow gun had melee. They do I have it, but it's it. mapped to, like, two button presses at once. You can tell it's, like, an ancillary thing yeah, I'm trying okay. to say, right? It's not, like, a main element of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been messing with. Uh, I just picked up the dual swords last night. Those are really good. And then I, I made, I crafted a like an upgraded one, but I haven't tried that one yet. But Those are great. Uh, Those are great it's sure. it's like really fast, but it locks you into animations. Like yeah. you, you have to be careful with how many combo because because you're, you're flinging these swords around so fast, you think you can just like do a ton yeah. of damage, but then it locks you in. You're fucked, right? It feels like a Souls moment when you're trying to dodge out. Yeah. yeah. But. Uh, I've gotten the hang of it a bit, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to try those for a bit. I think I'm just going to fuck around until I find something I'm really comfortable with. Yeah, that's what you got to do, right? man. Fuck it, why not? It's fun. It's kind it's of a wonderful game. Yeah, it's, it's dense as shit, but yeah, you know, this world seems like where his world was like... Uh, I don't know what would you say it was inspired by. It was like almost Hawaiian themed. It yeah. felt like to me, right? Like yeah, it very was, tropical yeah, sort of. Fucking. That's right. Yeah, and this is definitely oh. Jap Japanese. Like yeah. you're in a Japanese village, which like the is architecture and the from what I know and, from just playing Monster Hunter demos because I've never really played like a full Monster Hunter game. Louis told me it's unique. I never. Played oh really? Demos. It yeah. seemed like. From playing the other Monster Hunters, it seemed like um, it fits more in line with those. But I've only played I demos. think, like, most of them had demos. definitely, like, you know, we talk about, like, Eastern flavor a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, the sense mm -hmm. in which, the same way Dark Souls is, like, definitely Japanese. Maybe, fans, maybe. Right? Yeah, that's possible, but, like, then. I think I could he, be totally wrong. Uh, I could be wrong, though, because, again, I only started with World. And I played only one same. other one on, like, fucking Wii. I don't even remember which it was. It had, like, this underwater monster on the cover. Fuck. Yeah, but anyways, I have no idea. you know... He told me that other than one that was never localized for the West, this was the first one that actually uh, featured primarily like a Japanese-inspired setting. You know? Really? Okay, so Which I'm I could wrong be wrong that. about. I could be wrong about that too, though. I, I get the secondhand information for me. But it's interesting, in any case, that they they definitely again they 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 do some coherent acts of world building. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And even you know what I like too, the way that they present the monsters to you in this game is like every time oh, you sure. go into a hunt against one for the first time, there's like this fucking rhyming poem and it's presented in like a fucking I don't know what the right word is. There's for the cinematography or whatever, but it's like kind of black and white and grainy and they present this rhyming like cone style poetry oh, about yeah, the monster yeah, and how yeah, he's a killer yeah. and shit like that. It's so funny, man, and cool. Yeah, that is neat. That's that wasn't uh, something yeah, in world, right? That's No, world that's was more like too. serious, like more like yeah. fucking national geographic style, I would okay, say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. I like that too. Fuck. But Monster yeah, Hunter again, like, this is my like my favorite way to make a video game. Like it's got a lot in common with Souls, not only in terms of how it plays. It fucking very much feels like a Souls game, of course. Yeah. But in terms of how it expects you to engage with the world around you, right? It's not about you, the character, this guy with a name who's going to do some shit. No, his you're girlfriend just, you're and just stuff, like right? Like a cog in the wheel yeah, of the yeah. world, right? You're, you're the real story is the big picture around you, and right. like how all of the organisms in the environment and interact with each other. Like that's part of why. A game like this, in my opinion, can make like a multiplayer feel not like a necessity, but like it, it makes sense yeah. that it fits, yeah. right? It makes oh, sense yeah. to team up because you're all just 
none of you are the main character. Mm -hmm. You're all just, you know, parts in the world, like you said. Just oh, yeah. fucking hunting monsters, doing your thing, right? Getting fucking... Your and it's not like it impacts the experience in no. a way that makes yeah. the normal fucking baseline way of playing like fucking somehow lesser, right? Like you can jump in and what I'm doing right now and it wouldn't make it less fun for me to do what I'm doing. You know, it's not yeah, like, exactly. it it's really not like you feel crippled when you're playing it on your own. So I really appreciate that kind of thing. I wouldn't be able to play a game that like, you know, like Dark Souls 2, you can play with many people. It feels good. It's fun. Mm -hmm. But imagine if you couldn't play it by you couldn't yourself. couldn't play it solo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, kind of game would that be, right? Yeah. The end of the day. So it's fucking interesting. Yeah, right? Rise definitely smashed our expectations, I have to say. Like, definitely, we yeah, I wasn't psyched like for just, it at all. I really uh, wasn't. Just kind of eh. And I even played the demos, and same thing. Yeah. Like, I hated... I don't know, something about the demos I couldn't get into. But I'm weird like that. Like, even Bravely Default 2, I've been playing it and having fucking enjoying it immensely now, but couldn't get into the demo because, you know... Fuck, I want to go back to reasons. Bravely, but when you tell me about these boss fights, bro, I just fucking... Yeah, the loop can, is, like, kind of, you know... I can't deal with that shit. For the whole length of a game this feels way more honestly like the boss okay so i'm at the galahad boss or i was and i, I briefly told you but i fucking i probably spent a good 25 minutes in this boss fight just slowly because they have this boss fight has three like demon um enemies and then the actual boss right so the demon enemies one of them fucking heals everybody else so you have to take her down first so I was focusing on doing as much damage as possible to her, but ignoring the other three, mm -hmm. right? And then I had to do the same thing for another one and another one. And then by the time I got to the actual boss Galahad, he's a shield knight, asterisk. So he fucking has like 30,000 HP and he like counters physical attacks, counters magical. Like you're almost like just fucked, right? So I like slowly, slowly chipping away. I burned through tons of ethers just to get back MP to do, you know, my thunder attacks and whatever attacks I was stuck in. I, it was fuck, it was a nightmare, but it took some time and I eventually beat it. Just, just like slowly, like it was a slow chugging of a fucking boss fight, but uh, Fuck it, I did it. So <laughs> I, can, I can move on now, finally, right? Happy. It was actually, surprisingly, I only attempted it like two or three times. So it's not like I was stuck. I just was busy playing Monster Hunter in the last, you know, day. And uh, even played a little bit of Balan Wonder World, which is a totally fucking different story that sure. we're going to probably get into for a couple minutes, maybe before yeah, we close like it off. Yeah, I like that for sure. I would like that, yeah. <clears throat> Pass me that bottle opener, man. Oh, for sure. Let's uh, let's try this uh, cucumber and lime. Have you had this one? Yeah, man, I'm drinking it right now. Oh, you, you like that one? It's wonderful. It's yes. good. It's amazing. I'm gonna just pour it into the glass and go nuts. Can have some if you like. Oh, I'm good. Still in on that, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, fuck. Monster Hunter Rise and Bravely Default both really kind of, you know, even if I dislike some of the progression elements in yeah, Bravely, like I really like the way both fuck of it. those games. Okay. Engage with pre-existing formula and still make you go like against my expectations in both cases like holy fuck This is something cool and interesting, you know in a new way mm -hmm. like it adds mm -hmm. something to the genre That's noteworthy, right? Like it's not merely some fucking clone like it's not a subpar fucking Compromise really like it's got something to see that might make you want to play it over other things even in many cases, right? Same way with world in this one. Like, you can play world, but you can't zip around and run up walls and shit like that. Like, fuck, that's the kind of thing that definitely makes a guy like me go, okay, well, maybe I'll rather... <laughs> maybe I'd rather play right, this like, than yeah. world. Yeah, definitely. For sure, and same thing with Bravely, right? You see the enemies on the map before battle. True, yeah, if anything, you know, you they're speed just... speed things up. There's a lot of iterative fucking yeah, advancements exactly. to the JRPG formula that would make you want to play that over other over things. Over going right? back, like, you're right. It's it exhibits like... some mastery of the genre that I can appreciate, you know? It's like for me going through all the Pokemon games and seeing some of the advancements and then having a hard time going back, but yeah, yeah. I actually even overcame that at some point. But it shows in some sense I definitely some understand it. Yeah, yeah. It's not like merely they're adding fucking tangential shit. Like to me, the difference between excuse me, this and something like I don't know. We don't even have to mention other games that <laughs> that add things like open world or fucking loot based progression yeah. stuff. That it's an addition, surely. But it doesn't fucking complement the fucking inner logic of the thing. It's as yeah. though the person who's making it views the game as just this grab bag of fucking 
in different elements. You just throw them all in a pot. Yeah, just it doesn't cook up a necessarily stew, fit you know? the world, right? Yeah, it like it doesn't have a logic. Have a it's just like, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll throw this in. Like these guys instead understand like what the fuck Monster Hunter is yeah. as a formula, like how it works, how it fucking feeds itself what as a they fucking can cycle safely and formula. Add yeah. in that makes and they're sense. like, what can we do yeah. here? Like, like keen technicians or mechanics. They're like, mm-hmm. what the fuck can I do? Make it fucking nice just, and smooth here, hey, let's right? Let's try like, this in a hey. Yeah, let's throw an open world. Everybody likes that this year, right, Phil? Work, fucking, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, right, Patrick? Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. Flying, like flying. Yeah, if it doesn't work, we'll just take it out of the next no, one. No. no, instead, they're fucking keenly fucking aware of like what exactly Monster Hunter even World was, and mm-hmm. they're like, what can we do to that formula? We can pare back perhaps a bit of the fucking progression, a bit of the time investment, and instead add mobility, add this, add that for the fucking. Yeah, at the end of the day, they're like, like almost optimizing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I like that approach. It's the same yeah. kind of fucking approach Capcom, you know, the studios that it fucking has under it fucking exhibits when they're developing Resident Evil games. Like, they do True. something even in three. Like, what is three compared to two, you know? Does it need to be as long? No. Do they have new things in it? Fuck yes. They have a Dodge. Dude, they have iframes in it. Like, are you kidding me? Are you just fucking like, people like, yeah, I don't know. It's five out of ten. It's only got a few hours of gameplay. Like, the <laughs> score the you give it comes from how many hours it fucking has in it that's brutal i hate that fucking uh that that outlook on games right that's why anything so really shit like 80 do, do hours people Assassin's count Creed pages of, of books and uh, like say you know i, I paid know. fucking 17.99 people this, probably do this book <laughs> and it probably really has yeah probably 300 pages people. 300 divided by like start doing math and fucking <laughs> like what the fuck and it takes <laughs> you one minute to read a page <laughs> oh or no it's not it gets so bad yeah. <laughs> you can oh, really go God. down a fucking stupid rabbit hole yeah it's funny, man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oddly, I have to say, when I smell this, I, I'm smelling peanut butter. So maybe this is why. I'm telling you, it's peanut butter in there, man. That which IPA. is weird because it's lemon lime, which to me, oh, that one doesn't suggest. Maybe we're both having strokes. Really yeah, I, mean, I was fucking smelling it off of this IPA. I, 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 yeah, I don't know entirely. if something's wrong with my brain, but I'm smelling yeah, peanut I think, butter man, now. I think we're stroking out too much. <clears throat> well, if that's the case, then I should definitely show you a little bit of Battle in Wonderland before we close please do. This yeah, that'd be a good time to. That fucking, would be. Yeah, an epic way to fucking have a stroke. Oh, last thing, actually, can I fucking yes, add yes, before absolutely. we go on from fucking Monster Hunter? Yeah, is that I really like the monsters. You know, I mentioned before that the fucking real star of the show is the ecosystem, but like what that means is the monsters. Of course, yeah, how the, the fuck the do we go this far without talking about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's literally what the game I mean, consists in. The to world be fair, building. We're pretty early on. Like I haven't seen yeah. many monsters, only a couple. Maybe I've not seen, seen too many. I, I guess, but I've seen some fucking sick ones, and they're way like in Monster Hunter World. A lot of them were kind of like dinosaurs or dragons. It was very cool. And, uh, you know, a lot of fucking, you know, quadrupedal animals and shit. But this one has, like, weird shit, man. Like a bunny fucking dragon thing. You're like, what the fuck is that? And a bird that looks like an umbrella. Like, there's all kinds of cool. It's such a pleasure to fucking go into the each level to hunt a new monster. And it shows you the weird poem that comes with them and Mm -hmm. some fucking... Mm -hmm you know, montage, and then you go in to fight them and learn all their moves. It's really, really cool. Like, That's fucking sick. Yeah. It doesn't bust your balls too hard, but it definitely is not an easy game either, you know? It's wonderful. Yeah, I'm fucking definitely stoked to play more of... Um, the only... Fuck, the only thing that is bugging me right now is that I haven't finished Bravely Default 2 yet, and I, I yeah, wish I fucking yeah. did, because then I could move on to Monster Hunter. But, like, I kind of want to play both, I right? Know, juggle it, yeah, I feel you. And I wouldn't mind even, honestly, I almost kind of wish we were in, like, a... Well, not wish, but we'll eventually be in, like, a drought. And I, I oh, want well. I want to return to Balan Wonder World. A bit. Yeah, now you're going to show you. me. Yeah, gonna please show do gonna, fucking show me the footage. I'd love to if, fucking see that shit. If you're yeah. listening to this in podcast form, then you should hit up fucking the YouTube version to check this fucking weirdness out of Balin Wonder World. So this also came out yesterday, right? I think the same uh, same day as World and uh, I jumped into it for a bit, but it makes me ask like in terms of games like this, you know, we talk a lot about fucking almost- these different ways of fucking analyzing a game. Like what is this genre? What is its fucking world? Like what what's going on here? Like I don't understand this game at all. I really want to see something about it. Yeah. Um quality is a little bad because it didn't finish uh processing on youtube but that's it's okay. okay good enough for us this is pretty much it leo craig what yeah the fuck? select your character are you the son of like some fucking guy who lives on one of the hills in san it, francisco no it, i mean maybe car. no it doesn't really tell you but everything's like very it. um sorry it's uh it's very much like there's 
they don't really describe to you what the fuck is going on. Like, the characters don't talk or anything. Look at this. Like, he's just dancing. <laughs> and then, uh... It's wonky, eh? Yeah, it's weird. He just pretty much walks away from this. They're clapping. There's no dialogue or anything. He walks away. Square Enix comes up. And then this, uh... Girl and boy are walking around. And they stumble upon the Balan Wonderworld. Which is this weird top hat guy. It's so weird, dude. <laughs> hey, man. How are you? And welcome. I'm sure you're watching this. Have this. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is going to be... Uh... Are you going to hurt me? Mm. So, you skip there. It goes into this, like, you know, fucking... It's like a production, like a play, right? It's weird, right? It brings you into this overworld where you're running around. This looks like a PS2 game, eh? <laughs> Maybe because it hasn't fully uh, yeah. processed on YouTube, but eventually you go to the portal and then it comes up world one. It looks like Crash in. Bandicoot, bro. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does, right? This I'm really damn for that kind of thing. I'm not going to lie. What's going on here? Yeah, so this... Uh, sorry, I'm skipping it like an idiot. But basically, it's definitely psychedelic as fuck. Yeah, when you get into, you know, chapter one, world one... This immediately happens and everything crumbles and falls, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Like this looked sick. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Right? But again, like none of this. Like this is all just happening. Like there's no, there's almost no. Um, they're not really, you know, explaining. There's no story or anything. It's just it's just shits happening around you, right? Yeah. I always look behind me to see if anything is there. But at the end of the day, yeah, it's like 3D platforming, and then you pick up this costume thing here, which kind of enables you to it, it's it gives you you know uh, upgraded like movement to enable you to do certain things like there's one that you can um, you can jump and like float almost like the the boots in fucking Zelda this one lets you attack because you jump and spin it's fucking weird man so then you eventually go through here if you're listening to this on the podcast, I apologize because we are watching through this fucking weird ass game, Balan Wonderworld. And then you eventually really just fucking go through this level. It's pretty, it's like almost like a tutorial level. It just kind of shows you that you can pick up these different costumes. This is that hey. the one I told you you can float so you can get to like further ledges by floating there, right? So can you switch between these after you get them, or are they? Yeah, once movements? you have them, you can switch between them. But I think if you get hit by an enemy, it goes away. I think. And you have to get it again. But yeah, but like they, in Maria. Yes. Yeah. Sort of like that. Then there's this weird little mini game where you see the shadows. You have to hit X when that chat when those two shit like the shadow comes to him, or hit A or whatever, right? Oh, it is X. Yeah, and then this one's Mash, so you're just mad. It's just the weirdest thing. Like I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's a stupid little mini game, right? The fuck? Yeah, it's fucking strange. Like I'm, I haven't, don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It's just a weird fucking game. But what's going on? Like, yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't really tell you, man. It's just kind of like. Anyway, that's that's like um, this is sort of when you find like a secret, like in Doom kind of thing, that then it initiates this little mini game. Uh, fucking then carry on. So then the next level I want to show you when pops up door number two, right? World two or world one, two. It's kind of like a fucking Mario game yeah, with yeah. an overworld. This one was fucking trippy. Yeah, it looks like. So everything like kind of, it's like almost like Inception where things yeah. are like staring at you. And then as you walk into them, the fucking like terrain kind of fucking like rotates down. I always fucking always do that. I always look behind me. <laughs> See how, like, yeah. everything is, like... It looks like a fucking mushroom yeah. trip. Like, everything is, like, fucking, like, this waving corn. and moving, right? Yeah, it's so weird. That I'm telling you, like, it looks like shit now because the, we're watching on YouTube and it hasn't fully, like, processed. But on the actual, on the PS5, like, it actually looks fucking really nice. You know, everything's nice and polished. The graphics are beautiful. I mean, it looks like a fucking live fucking Pixar uh, yeah. fucking movie, Look right? at this. Yeah, yeah, there's this costume that... What the fuck, man? And then at the end of it, so see how you can extend the head up to yeah. fucking pick up items? You'll see it after, but then when you let go, it jumps, right? So you yeah. can you can use it to jump still. 
This is just the fucking strangest thing. Look at yeah, the fucking terrain, right? So this whole level is like this. And then you get to the stupid little puzzles. You get to a little like mini boss here. Pounding oh, pig. Oh, this is yeah, this is the pig costume where you can you can slam down things. This was like the first little mini boss. Oh. <laughs> so I think I lost the pig costume when I got hit. That's why I was oh, what true. I was saying before. And then this one is the fire breathing thing, like kind of like Mario. So I'm just fucking shooting fire at this fucking mini boss. Here I thought it was gonna stop recording, right? But then it takes you from this into a little cutscene where this shit happens. I show you. This is the, this guy, this is like the farmer dude who you've seen him, you encounter him throughout the last two levels I just showed, right? I guess he's like the farmer in this world that you're hanging out in. And basically what happens is this fucking like, I guess villain phantom thing comes out of fucking nowhere. You'll see it looks, it looks actually pretty cool, man. Like the fucking graphics look beautiful. Honestly, everything is fucking crazy in this game. <laughs> Aside from, you know, it's a little bit of a, weird i'm interested in this to be honest with you yeah like i i, I fucking i feel like it's hard to fucking put it into words almost because it, i have no idea what's going on but this is cool shit the fuck so this thing this weird evil like purpley thing comes out of nowhere and sort of possesses the farmer bam turns him into a fucking monster and then you get to the boss fight. Turns into that, I think. So this is the first fucking boss. He's fucking hopping around. You're gonna see at points he turns completely like white, but like flashes really quickly. Remember I was telling you there was that seizure thing? See that, mm -hmm. how it was like flashing white? That happened, they patched it out. But that was happening, but to the whole screen. So it would just flash white like really quickly. And that like is pretty fucking jarring like it yeah, was fucking yeah. it looked cool though i wish uh i mean I don't look at those say faces it. in the background yeah it's fucked it's uh it's a pretty wacky fucking game i like honestly i'm i'm lost for words like when i was playing it i'm like i have no the idea the case for this is play. compelling for me honestly i'm not gonna lie it looks good yeah it's uh it, you saved him yeah so you save the thing and then everybody's dancing and it's fucking <laughs> 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 it's so weird dude it's so fucking weird Honestly, this one, like, I'm happy I even played an hour of it. Even if I, 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 I might jump back in one day, but even if I never do again, like, I'm happy I played through the first, like, hour and fought the first boss. Like, just because yeah. it's, it's so wild, dude. Like, just, like, who the fuck is this for? Who's going to buy this game, right? Like, I really don't who the know. Fuck? I really like, have no idea. Definitely nobody I know. People yeah. I know don't even play, like, Monster Hunter and shit. No, like, who no. the fuck is going to play Balan Wonderworld? <laughs> Definitely not for kids, not for adults. It's I mean, but you'd think maybe for kids, because it's... I mean, look at it, right? But, like, maybe, then again, right. what kids know what the fuck about... Ba maybe Balin Production Company is something we just don't know. Like, it's something... Could be. Is it a brand we don't know? I, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Weird, though, eh? And now his uh, corn crops have grown. But yeah, if, if anything at all... So what is it covered in monster jizz or something? Oh, I don't know. Monster jizz. No, it's it's good now. You like saved, we saved the farm. Yeah. Yep. I understand. Yep. That's, <laughs> this Dancing. is the first fucking, <laughs> this is the first, uh, that's cool though. Chapter honestly. of Battle in Wonder World, I guess. I find it pretty fucking cool now. Yeah, it's pretty fucking nuts. I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing ever, but I'm down. I can dig it, right? It is fucking strange, buddy. Yeah, dude. I like it. What else you got this week? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. You want a burrito, man? He's going to exploit me. We're going to eat fucking burritos. What else did you <laughs> play this week, bud? Um, really just Bravely Default 2. Um, 
Monster Hunter Arise, a little bit of this Balan Wonder World. I don't think there's been anything else. Ouch. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it, maybe Final Fantasy 13, but I think we covered that last week and uh, I've sort of since dropped it because there's just so much going on. Like, not that I want to, yeah. I want to play more of that too, but it's only so much fucking time in a day, right? We all know. It's really hard to make progress in a game these days because I feel like I'm just too playing much. so much. Yeah, it's just, there's there's all kinds out there, right? What do you do? That's why I haven't beaten anything this year except for um, Red Dead 2, which I had not didn't start this year. I had beat it this year. There's a very distinct <laughs> distinction there. I only played about like two hours, but <laughs> last year I put in the rest of the effort. Imagine that game came out in 2018. Here you go. Took me like three years to finish it. Well, not quite, but, you know. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I still it, haven't finished it. Yeah, it's it's really, you know, it's worth finishing, but it's also quite time consuming, so I can see, you know, why you wouldn't have or somebody, you know, wouldn't have by now. Yeah. Especially really the bad, epilogue. Like, Honestly, I don't even think the epilogue's worth it. Is that 80 hours fucking worth yeah, <clears throat> no. that story? I'd say play until Arthur goes. And then you're good. Like, the epilogue is really just... Junk it. Depends. I mean, if you really like Red Dead, which I... I mean, I do like the Red Dead, you know, 1 and 2, the world and everything. Like, the, the whole series, right? I like John Marston, but I still don't think the epilogue was really that worth. But anyway, this is a whole other tangent. A whole other tangent, for sure. I think we'll... Uh, <laughs> That's okay. That's yeah. fucking sick, though, man. Like, fuck. What? In all these cases, like, I, I'm compelled, like, at the end to just fucking draw some kind of fucking... I know, yeah. You like to summarize like, things up in a nice little pretty package with a bow, right? I do like how when fucking... We, say, we see it in all of these fucking games a way that fucking some developers latched onto a pre-existing formula and added something cool and interesting to it. Like, iterated upon it in other words, like, fucking the same way that, you know... <clears throat> excuse me. That's good enough, actually. Yeah, that's that's what I like the way that they iterate on formula, right? Like you took yeah. Monster Hunter as it existed, make it more JRPG, right? Yeah, straighten the veins, make it nice and uh, sure. I don't want to say think, accessible um, easily. I don't know. One of the things that was cool about Bravely, like we talked about before, is how they allow you to fucking get in the middle of turn orders in a way that they didn't in the previous one and stuff like that. You know, there's like yeah. serious like innovations in the JRPG formula that make it worthy of consideration, right? Like it's not merely a... It's not just slapping a skin of something on top of something, right? It's not a bodily clone, right? Yeah. Same with Monster Hunter here, which is exactly what I was worried about. In both of these games, I was like, I don't know, I'm not too excited about it. It's going to be shit. It's going to be a repetition. True, we, we weren't really like hyped on both. Mm. Like a little bit. Not, bravely default a little bit. Monster Hunter, not so much. But yeah. they both turned out to like Much kind of smash our expectations, sure, yeah. yeah. Which is fucking really all we can I'm want. Pleased with like both of them as yeah. techs, yeah. You just fucking go in yeah. and you're really pleased with the kind of world that it builds and like the yeah. systemic fucking way it presents it to you, like the mechanical way it presents it to you. You know, it's fucking beautiful. It's, it's, it's good it's, shit. It's intertextual, like it's aware of what it's doing in mm -hmm. reference to other games. It's really good, man. All of them, yeah. And Balan too. Like, what the fuck is that? What do you juxtapose that to? Crash, oh, fuck, man. Again, yeah. to me, Crash. You I know? was, You're yeah. At crash. I was or definitely Spyro, getting, getting Crash you know? vibes, Spiral vibes, a little yeah. bit of like just you know Mario yeah. vibes. Yeah. It was fucking Mario 3D games. Good for those guys. Fuck but, them. Why uh, the fuck? You know, you want to make a game like that? Fucking good for you. I'm gonna buy it. I, yeah, I don't give I mean, a shit. I'm gonna play it. that yeah. shit. I'm, 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 in, I'm intrigued enough to go back in. I'll say that, even though it's, it's just, it's. It, it's goofy like it's not something that like you know I ever me. thought it would take seriously and I, I mean I probably won't but it's yeah. it's intriguing to see what they're doing like just what the fuck is it you know what I mean yeah. like who like you want to see who's I, behind I, this who like I'm just yeah, like I'm I just agree, so man. curious right it's so strange uh, yeah at the same time I, I, I fucking you know I like seeing that right breaking you know kind of just off the wall like just totally out there things right because Otherwise, what the fuck? If everything took itself so seriously, like, you know, never get something weird and goofy like this, maybe. So, I'm in for it. We'll see how it turns out. Monster Hunter, same thing. Bravely keep chugging along. I think that's, uh, that's like the meat and potatoes of what's going on right now, at least in our little corner of the gaming world, right? I guess that's it, man. Yeah. I think we can, uh, Probably shut her down there. I don't know. 
Beyond that, I'd like to finish Blasphemous and right at the end of it. Yeah, that would be nice. A couple of bots, like a boss rush at the end. There's three oh, bosses, fuck, pretty geez. much. Yeah, that sounds like a fuck. Good luck with that. I guess that's it. Thank you guys very much for tuning in, and we fucking love you. Take care. Fuck Talk yeah, to you on Tuesday live and unleashed. Fucking, oh, yeah. Tune in on Tuesday for GUI. Now we switched over to Twitch, if that's worth mentioning. Play your fucking games. You guys do that. Thank you very much.